Be very quiet, everybody. We don't want to startle it. It likes the fruit. I'll go. Huh? What is that? Whoa. It's a rock today, just like this is a rock today, okay? This doesn't used to be a rock. These things did not used to be rocks, okay? They have turned into stone, just like the, the trolls in the stories. If you were in any way shocked by that last statement, that just proves to me that you have not watched the previous parts in this series. Stop now, go back, and watch them first. The trolls were living beings, and they're exposed to sunlight, and they harden and they turn into stone. That story, that fairy tale, which is a tale or a story, passed down from the Vaeri or the Vaerions or the gods, if you will. Okay, the the uh, the Aryans, the Vanir, the Azir. Uh, the elven race is what I call them, but that's a different video. I looked around the best I could. I could not find any of these terms. Of course, he doesn't spell anything, so I can't make sure about this stuff. But I do plan on going into his other videos to hopefully decipher what the fuck he's talking about here. So eventually, I hope to get to it. There are some things that are obvious. You look at it, you know? Look at that. Like, you can see that's a... That's a being buried up to its chest in debris. As I've said time and time again, I cannot verify what the image is or where it is located. Hell, I don't know if it was shopped or real. I also strongly wonder if J Dreamers puts forth the effort to find out. I know his contemporaries don't. And I believe that we're entering into a time some people are dubbing the Great Awakening. Okay? Many uh, revelations are coming to light. This is just one, and I can't wait for the next ones to come about so that we can discuss those and put them all into the limelight and show people an alternative version to, um, to balance out what we've been taught so people can at least have a choice to look into various options, okay? to just continue talking until you feel like you've made sense. Huh. Irony. And I'm not saying you're stupid if you don't believe me or, you know, you're retarded or anything like that. I understand. I just want to offer out information so that other people can be a little more balanced by gaining more knowledge. The reason I make these videos is to state that he is in fact not offering information. His sources are not cited, his tangents have no point, and he is selling you lies. Just lie? You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? We know that Titans once existed. We have it written in every one of our cultures, in every one of our stories. We accept in all of our religions that there were giants. Oh my god, who the hell cares? and that we fought against the giants, and that there were wars between the gods and the other gods, the giant races. Again, Jay Dreamers does a good job of sounding knowledgeable and pontificating on all these varied subjects, but he's not actually citing anything, not providing a single example. This is the same argument that creationists make for Noah's Flood, the all the cultures of the world say it so it must be true while failing to provide any evidence to back their claim. Uh, now, you'll see a lot of these, the Titans being portrayed as being made of rock um, in a lot of our movies. And the reason for that is because they literally turned into rock. Oh, so now Hollywood and animators are in this as well, right? They're trying to secretly let us know the true history of our planet by creating some cartoons. Okay, after this cataclysm hit, basically in a nutshell, why do people say long story short? They're not making it short, Stan. There was, there were no oceans. The oceans were then introduced, okay? Along with all that water churning up everything, okay? It created uh, a mud flood. It created a flood of debris that knocked everything down and washed over and covered everything and basically suffocated everything as well. So those things didn't drown, suffocated. Not only do I need suffocated from being able to breathe the air, but their skin suffocated. From, your skin breathes air, okay? Like you have pores in your skin and, uh, you know, plants and vegetables and fruits and algae too, you know? There's pores inside things microscopically. There are holes inside everything. Now, in those holes, the minerals that were in that water went into those holes and just, uh, flooded 
the bodies of these ancient beings with the minerals that were in the water, okay? And then the minerals built up and built up and um, there are different words for it. You can say they petrified, they calcified, they densified, uh, they silicified. Jay Dreamer's attempt to explain the process of petrification is very surface level. Calcification and silicification, which is a very difficult word by the way, are not processes typically talked about during fossil creation, as they tend more towards rock cycle processes more. Densification is a very broad term I haven't really heard used in relation to fossils. Yes, calcium and silicon minerals can be involved in petrification and fossilization, but these phrases are not interchangeable. Which is a good one because the ancient world was a silica world. Our world today, what we call Earth, is all silica for the most part, okay? Uh, it's the second most abundant substance in our world next to like the air we breathe. Okay. I don't know how he is defining substance here, but I doubt it's a chemistry definition. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said the air we breathe. If he is referring to the compound silica, SiO2, that is the second most abundant compound on Earth and is a part of many common minerals. Pure silica, usually in the form of quartz, let's say, is not the most common mineral on Earth, however. J. Dreamer's lack of clarity in source makes his statements just true enough to pass a middle school Earth science test, but not true for any usable manner. We understand that these things are true. We don't have to know them. We don't have to talk about them, but subconsciously we know that our world was more of a fantasy world than it is the world that we're presented with today. Let me give you some examples. Oh my! Oh hooray! So here are some recent movies that are coming out, or have already come out. Disappointed! I, I had talked about in some prior videos that I predict we're going to see, as we see these revelations come to light, we will see Hollywood mimic these revelations in turn. I hope no one tells Jay Dreamers about the giant monster movie craze of the 50s. It would blow his whole plan out of the conspiracy water. Now, some of them have already been put out there because one of two things, either Hollywood in general is laughing at us and rubbing the truth in our face, which I don't really lean towards that. I feel like if they're going to hide it, they would try their best to completely hide it. I will give him credit. That is a different take on the entertainment industry than most conspiracy theorists. The standard is that the Illuminati hides the truth in plain sight. Jay Dreamers appears to be bucking this trend. The other option is that breadcrumbs are being left to us. They are giving us the information, but they're not bound to give us the information in any particular form or way. They say, here's the information, do with it what you would like. You are smart enough to make your own decisions and to figure things out in life. Here's the information, do with it what you will. I don't repeat myself. I don't repeat myself. If you want to sit there and eat popcorn, and just have a good time and not think and to be amused and to just say, wow, that was good or oh, that movie sucked or whatever. And then just move on to whatever else you're doing in your loop called life. Fine, you can do that. Or if you want to have an experience while you're watching these movies or reading these books, and if you want to allow the stories that are being told to touch you and to say, to basically the stories are reaching out from the past and grabbing you and saying something about this holds true. Something about this is real. It has weight to it, right? And you can ponder on it and you can put some pieces together if you'd like to. That's what I do. To just continue talking until you feel like you've made sense. Huh. Irony. 